again, Melissa Crook here, design team member for DobellosDesigns.com. Um, today, I am going to be showing you a similar card to this. Um, now, I made this card, but I did not make this background. This background was sent to me in an exchange that we do on our Facebook groups um, by Ann Heron. Now, I was asked by Kathy to do a tutorial for this, um, but she explained to me that she also did not have the same stamp. So I'm going to sort of <laughs> recreate this card, but I'm gonna be using supplies that I have and that are similar. Now, some are gonna be exactly the same and some are not. Just to show you that you can see a card that you like, take inspiration from it, and make it your own. So for the supplies that I'm going to use today are, um, first of all, let's see, I'm going to use, here's the cards first of all. So five by seven card, a piece of black card stock, uh, four by or four and a half by six and a half, and then I have a piece of multifarious card that is cut to 15 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And the reason for that is I'm going to use the new Sweet Puppy stencil um, that is just released. It was just released June 1st. It is called the Holly Leaf Square. Um, this is one of the new Christmas ones, but I really like the viney um, holly leaf, so I'm going to try that. And the reason why 15 centimeters by 10 centimeters is because Sweet Puppy Stencils is based in the UK. They use metric dimensions, not imperial, so it is not truly 6 by 6. It is 15 by 15. So in order for my border to not come up short on my card, I just shortened my card. So that's that. Okay, so other stamps, I'm going to use the iris stamp for this one instead of the poppy. I am going to still use the nature stamp from Sweet Poppy, um, the peony stamp. And then I'm going to use the little bugs um, this is a Lavinia Stamps, and I believe it's called Fairy Bugs. I don't have the name with it, but I'll have it in the description below. And then I'm going to use Jiminy the Little Cricket. Um, let's just set these off to the side. I will be using my stamping platform. Um, for the background, we're going to do some traditional ink blending, and I'm going to use um, my little sponges on the applicators for those. Um, we're going to do a, still a three-part blend. I'm going to do Worn Lipstick, Wilted Violet, and um, Villainous Potion for the blending. And then for over the stencil, I'm going to use Picked Raspberry. I have no idea if these are exactly the same colors, but they're close. Oxide inks for... Stamping, we're going to use Versafine Claire, Nocturne, Twilight, and Rainforest. I have my stamping platform for stamping, and I'm going to color in the iris with the new Sweet Poppy watercolor pens. This is set number two. Um, and I'm going to pull out just a few colors. They have a list of all of the colors listed and it's in the description online, but the colors are not actually printed on each pin. So I'm sorry, but I don't know what color. I'm gonna use a cup a green, this nice bright green, this light purple, and this darker purple. I'm not going to use the water markers today. I'm going to just use these and probably just a regular paintbrush with some water if I need it. So, just to paint 
brush with some more. Um, maybe this is a little bit more. I don't know. We'll pull that out in a minute. I have them all sitting here, so I'm going to grab that. I'm also going to use a Jelly Roll Pin Stardust. This is just silver to add a little sparkle. And we'll need a piece of torn copy paper for some grounding. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to leave this kind of right here so I can see it for inspiration, but I think we'll just give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so a multifarious card. I'm going to start with the colors that I'm going to blend first. I'm going to blend from light to dark. I'm also going to get a piece of paper towel so I hopefully don't Get my fingers up, my fingerprints in all of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with worn lipstick first, and I'm starting off of the paper and coming down about a third of the way. and then I didn't really measure the inside of the stencil so I apologize for that. So what we're going to do is just move it up when we get there. So I'm just lining up the card, bottom part of the card to the inside of this and then I'm going to adhere a piece of tape So I'm not going over this line. I'm actually going to go to the red end. But... No, this probably doesn't need, you don't need to do this. This is very technical and uh, technical. <laughs> okay, so get that lined up. And then I'm just using this tape to protect this here. Because in the original card, we just have kind of two lines of a stencil in the back. So I'm going to take my picked raspberry distress oxide onto a blending brush. And then I'm going to blend right over that stencil. I'm just going to slide that down and I'm just going to fill in that corner just a little bit. Now we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side and I'm just going to continue to use the same side of my stencil. I'm just going to line up my card right to the inside. I don't really need this here at all, but it'll help keep my stencil in place, so. Start at the bottom, and I'm just going to work my way to the top. that up just a little bit. Oops. Hmm. 
And you can always just set your stencil and use whatever part you want to use. I'm just filling in just a little bit more for some more definition. Okay, so some stenciling. Hopefully it's not so bright and you can actually see that. All right. Okay, so now we are going to get our stamping platform and we're going to stamp with our stamps. I'm going to start with the iris. And I think that would be about there. In the center, up just a little ways. Come back down a little more. Line it up where you like it. Move that. And then we're going to stamp up the flower with the Nocturne. New first Fine Claire Nocturne. Very nice. So I'm going to just leave this in here. I'm not going to take that out. And I'm going to stamp the bugs with a littler block. And that's just because I don't want to move that just in case I need to reuse it. I'll be able to stamp right back down after I get done coloring. I'll go from there. Now we're going to stamp our little Jiminy Cricket here, just down by the base. And I'm going to stamp him up in Rainforest. that one to the side and then we will snap our little bugs and I'm going to stamp those in the twilight Maybe this one's going to look like it's just going to land right here on this petal. I'm not even going to add the butterfly. And
Okay, now that we're waiting for this to dry, oh, you know what I didn't do was the um, water spots. So, with a piece of paper towel, let's see, I'm going to just give this some splotches. I really wasn't wanting that big of splotches, but... Now for the coloring, we're going to set that to the side and using the Sweet Puppy watercolor pens and a paintbrush with a bit of water, not the cleanest water I might have. <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly go over And that's going to pull the oxide to the top and you can dab it out. So for right now, I'm only just doing the leaf part. And then with our green marker, we're going to just add in. Since I, I was going to color in purple anyways, I'm not going to take out a whole lot and we're going to use the background to our advantage, but I'm going to take a little out. Just so we can add a little bit more color from the markers. gonna come together in just a second and we're gonna see that. I'm gonna go ahead and outline my little bugs in some silver glitter pen.
Okay, now we're going to re-stamp right over the top just to get our lines darkened back up. So you don't have to be an expert colorist to still be able to color in some stamps. So going right back over that with the Nocturne. see there now it's just got a better outline darkened in and it worked. To give that a good little wipe and set that to the side for a moment. We'll clean up some of this. Okay, and now we need a bit of grounding, and we're going to do that with, um, we'll just do that with some Twilight. So I'm going to get a piece of copy paper, just a piece of scratch paper, and give that a good tear. And I like it there, so I'll take that. We could just use, I don't need that. Um, so I'm going to use uh, Lavinia Stamps number three brush, but I'm going to use the one that I use for blues. And I'm going to put this just under. Um, Jimmy's legs or just above Jimmy's legs and just over that and I'm just going to give this a light a light little amount Then I'm going to, I did this differently before with the, um, I'm just going to do it back with a little of this potion. Here. We'll spill it in. I still want that to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to just add some Uncharted Mariner. I'll add this to my list in my description and I'm just going to add a little of that in. That's better. Okay, so now I need to oh, get our nature stamp and a stamping ball. And I'm going to stamp the word nature with the twilight. Um, I'm going to put it on this side this time. Just because of the shape of the stamp. Okay, I think that, that is pretty decent. Um, I don't know, I think I might just kind of edge the edges. 
just to finish it just a little bit more and brighten it up. going to take our cards, mount them. I'm going to just mount my black down first. Okay, so the end results. So this was the one that I've done when I received my background that I received from Anne. And this is the one that I recreated today. It's obviously quite a bit different, but just the same, um, it came out fine with the stenciling. It's maybe not quite as dark, um, but it's, I like it. It came out good. The puppy is a little bit more bright, so I might go around with some purple and just darken that up just a little bit, um, just to draw your eye in a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed that today. This was an Kind of an unplanned card that I made completely on the fly to go with this card here but differently so you can use your own you know see something that you get some inspiration for and create something that's similar but your own so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial today I hope you get some inspiration if you have any um, questions or comments please leave them below uh, like and subscribe to follow us for some more inspiration and if you're on Facebook please follow us on our two Facebook groups um, we have Del Bellows Designs Lounge Retailer of Lavinia Stamps for everything Lavinia and we have Del Bellows Designs All Cart for everything else that Patty sells such as Sweet Poppy Stencils, Nellie's Choice, Cardio and many more things so check us out there. If you make something, please post it, tag me, and I'll be sure to see it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.